Some people build planes in their backyard, others fly them, but not all of them should ever leave the ground. Today, I'll show you the homemade aircraft that push the limits of imagination and safety. Would you climb into one of these? You will not believe how lightweight ingenuity from the Czech Republic reshaped ultralight aviation. Designed by Igor Spasek and built in the small town of Hodenin, this aircraft was made primarily from wood and composite materials. With its exceptionally low empty weight, it qualifies under Germany's 120 kilogram ultralight rules. Its configuration allows either tricycle or tail dragger gear and engines from 24 to 50 horsepower. The single seat low wing plane uses flaperons and a tractor engine setup, blending aerodynamic finesse with simplicity. The wingspan measures 19 feet and eight inches with a wing area of 64 and one half square feet. It accepts various engines, including those from Hearth or adapted Briggs and Stratton units that mix of minimalism and performance makes it a favorite for amateur pilots who crave full control without complexity. By the year 2015, 113 units had been sold with 41 confirmed flying worldwide. The American version offered premium features like a Dynan Skyview panel, hydraulic brakes, and a Hearth Foxtrot 23 engine with 50 horsepower. Although not approved as a light sport aircraft by the Federal Aviation Administration, it captured the imagination of ultralight enthusiasts. The concept of one person, one aircraft, remains strong today. But just as this minimalist aircraft made aviation personal, another design emerged to challenge the very shape of flight itself. Without naming it yet, the next aircraft takes a different route, where the body of the plane does more than just hold the wings transforms the entire idea of how lift can be generated in the air. What if the body of an aircraft could generate lift just like the wings? That is exactly what the team behind the SF-1 Archon set out to achieve. Created by a small aviation company with a bold idea, this kit plane uses a unique fuselage design that contributes to flight performance. Built entirely from riveted aluminum, it comes partially assembled and ready for hobbyists to complete with engine, instruments, and paint. Its cruise speed reaches 110 knots, climbing at 1,000 feet per minute. Takeoff can be achieved in just 400 feet, and landing requires only 650 feet. With a flight range of 500 nautical miles, this aircraft is not just for short hops. Measuring 26 feet in length, 7 feet in height, and a wingspan of 25 feet, it combines practicality with sleek aerodynamic form. Maximum takeoff weight is 1,050 pounds with a useful load between 450 and 500 pounds. The wings are removable and can be detached in 30 minutes, allowing for easy storage or transport. Builders can choose engines ranging from 80 to 115 horsepower, including models from Rotax and other light sport engine suppliers, giving flexibility to suit different flying styles. From clean sheet design to passionate craftsmanship, the SF-1 Archon shows how far imagination can take personal aviation. And now, from a sleek kit aircraft with factory-grade finish, we jump into a story powered not by engineers, but by siblings with nothing but used parts, relentless belief, and the will to fly against all odds. You will be captivated by the story of a Swiss foot launch glider inspired by a prehistoric flying ancestor. Conceived in 1998 by Roger Ruppert at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences, its design focused on feather light weight, gentle stall, nimble handling, and performance even at low speeds, it emerged as a glider you could launch with nothing but your legs, pure harmony of human and air. The first prototype soared into the sky in September 2001, refining its form and function through test flights until May 2002, then again in March 2003. By the summer of 2009, the production version had taken shape and deliveries began in May 2010. As of September 2023, 38 examples flew across destinations such as Australia, Argentina, Europe, North America, and Switzerland. This pod and boom single seat glider features conventional flight controls via stick and rudder pedals with flaps doubling as air brakes when set between 45 and 70 degrees. It can be prepped for flight by just one person in 15 minutes and offers a ballistic rescue parachute for added safety. Launch options include foot launch, aero tow bungee, vehicle tow and winch, a versatile platform for personal gliding adventures. And as we breathe in this elegant story of human-sized flight, you sense that ingenuity knows no bounds. 
Without revealing it yet, our next tale moves from the silent loft of soaring to the raw imagination of backyard innovation, where even a home-built aircraft can change how communities connect. Imagine three siblings in Ghana, Isaac, Lisa, and Jacob, channeling the spirit of the Wright brothers using local materials to build a functional aircraft. Driven by creativity and determination, they constructed a light two-seat plane using iron tubing, aluminum panels, and plywood. Its wings detach for transport, and a repurposed car engine powers its propeller, giving hope to rural transport and public service. After nearly a decade of design, fabrication, and trials, the aircraft performed taxi tests at a test runway in Afienya under the watch of students, military officials, and curious onlookers. It can carry a maximum weight of 757 kilograms, proof that big dreams can emerge even with limited means. Yet licensing and financial hurdles still stand between ground runs and certified flight. Their vision is bold. Beyond mere flight, they envision the plane being deployed for police patrols, mosquito control via aerial spraying, agricultural irrigation overhead, transport of small cargo, and rapid medical deliveries to remote areas. Their project represents not only technical achievement, but social innovation aimed at empowering underserved communities across Ghana and potentially beyond. Just as this home-built machine reflects grassroots determination, our next chapter shifts again, this time to streamlined sport aviation that rethinks how the very shape of a plane contributes to its performance. Get ready for surprises and how design can redefine flight. Some aircraft are born from blueprints, others from pure grit. The Ruckus is the second kind. With its open frame built from aluminum tubing, typed 6061 T6, the aircraft embraces simplicity and raw power. Designed to be assembled by the owner, the aircraft creates a deep connection between pilot and machine, each bolt and bracket placed by hand, each line of the frame tuned for function above all. Built for rugged environments, the Ruckus handles dirt strips, grassy fields, and remote terrain with confidence. The airframe can be configured for various engines with the Rotax 912 Uniform Lima as one of its most reliable power plants. Slats, flaps, ailerons, and spoilers work in harmony to deliver impressive low-speed control, ideal for short takeoffs and tough landings in irregular spaces. Inside the cockpit, you find comfort without excess. A secondary jump seat makes it possible to fly with a guest or student, while the belly pod adds cargo flexibility, perfect for flying with tools, food, or supplies. With a straightforward layout and durable construction, this aircraft offers freedom and practicality for backcountry pilots, survivalists, or aviation adventurers looking for full control. Yet, for all its utility and grit, this machine sets the stage for something even more compact. What if you could store your aircraft next to your motorcycle? The next chapter dives into a flying machine so small it redefines personal aviation. And yet, its performance and range will leave you speechless. Created in Poland by Fusion Copter, the JK-2 Nanogyro redefines compact recreational aviation. Fully compliant with Part 103 of American Airspace Regulation, it can fly legally with no license required. Its carbon fiber frame is strong and feather light, while the open rotor and slick body offer high performance in a tiny footprint. It stands as proof that freedom to fly does not always require a hangar or even a runway. The aircraft comes with two engine options. The Pliny Thor 300. Three provides 38 horsepower, while the Hearth Echo Foxtrot, India 23 Victor Echo. 28, Charlie Echo, Lima India engine offers 50 horsepower. Every kit is designed for fast weekend assembly. It is beginner friendly, yet delivers enough performance to satisfy experienced pilots seeking low level adventure with minimal setup time. Takeoff distance is under 330 feet, and landing needs even less. Cruise speeds vary between 49 and 53 miles per hour. With a burn rate of only 3 gallons per hour and excellent low speed control, it is perfect for sweeping views over open land. It handles rough fields and grassy strips with ease and can even land in tight areas where traditional aircraft cannot operate. So compact it fits inside a regular garage, the JK2 Nano Gyro can be stored beside tools or bikes. The frame can also be disassembled for quick transport in a small trailer or pickup. Its uses range from private recreation to aerial monitoring, farming support, or low-altitude sightseeing. Now prepare for a jump into the past, 
when flight meant operating inches above the sea in one of the most mysterious Soviet experiments ever built. This amphibious biplane first took to the skies on April 2nd, 1936, powered by a Wright radial engine with 750 horsepower. It quickly became a favorite of the United States Navy, Marine Corps, Army Air Forces, and Coast Guard. Designed for search and rescue, reconnaissance, and utility transport, it earned a reputation as one of the most versatile military aircraft of its time, built to land where others could not. The Duck's iconic design combined float and fuselage into a single sealed hull, enabling seamless operation on both land and water. Its retractable gear tucked inside the float, allowing transitions from runways to waves without modifications. With twin wings and a sturdy biplane layout, it delivered slow flight stability, ideal for recovery missions in rough seas and island hopping operations during wartime. More than 575 units were produced, some under license by Columbia Aircraft. They carried stretchers, mail, or small groups of personnel. Stories from World War II include daring rescues and secret missions, like one escape from the Philippines that helped a future United Nations official survive and tell the tale. The duck proved its worth in every corner of the Pacific and beyond. And while the duck embraced the air and sea with equal skill, the next flying machine challenged everything aviation knew about altitude. What if an aircraft never truly flew above the clouds, but instead glided just inches above the water with terrifying silence? That story begins now, deep in Soviet Cold War secrecy. It was not a plane, not a ship, and not a submarine, yet it shared traits with all three. The Caspian Sea Monster, developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s, flew by ground effect. With 10 massive jet engines and a wingspan of 121 feet, it traveled just above the ocean surface, riding a cushion of air. Its ability to avoid radar while carrying immense loads made it a military enigma during the Cold War. This piece was officially called an Ekronoplan, using aerodynamic lift from the compressed air beneath its wings. Eight engines mounted in front helped it leap off the water, while two more in back maintained crews. Its size was overwhelming, over 300 feet in length, and it could carry hundreds of tons across the sea. At full speed, it skimmed the waves at more than 200 knots, impossible to intercept by sea or air. Western intelligence agencies first spotted it on satellite images and gave it the nickname Sea Monster. For years, analysts could not determine if it was real, experimental, or even functional, but it was real, and it flew, secretly and powerfully, until 1980, when a crash marked the end of its service. Still, it left behind engineering lessons and legendary status in military aviation history. From Cold War shadows to modern innovation, the Caspian Sea Monster reminds us that imagination often flies far ahead of regulation. The next aircraft in our journey returns to the roots of personal flight, this time through accessibility, simplicity, and an honest quest to bring aviation to the people. You will not believe how lightweight ingenuity from the Czech Republic reshaped ultralight aviation. Designed by Igor Spasek and built in the small town of Hodonin, this aircraft was made primarily from wood and composite materials. With its exceptionally low empty weight, it qualifies under Germany's 120 kilogram ultralight rules. Its configuration allows either tricycle or tail dragger gear and engines from 24 to 50 horsepower. Launched in the United States in the year 1931, the Aronka C3 was a light monoplane that revolutionized affordable aviation. Evolving from the earlier Aronka C2, it introduced a wider fuselage that allowed two people to sit side by side. This improved comfort and commercial appeal while maintaining extremely low operating costs. Nicknames like Flying Bathtub and Flying Door Latch became part of its charm. Equipped with the Aronka Echo 113 engine producing 36 horsepower, it was surprisingly easy to fly. With just five hours of instruction, many pilots could master its forgiving controls. It glided well, landed softly, and needed minimal runway to operate. Its simple aerodynamics and structure made it perfect for new pilots and flying schools alike during the early years of civil aviation. In the year 1935, the improved version named C3 Master arrived. It featured a closed cockpit, a rounder fuselage, and redesigned rudder. Optional brakes and lights added modern touches, but the low price remained a major draw. Costing just $1,895, the C3 Master sold 128 units that year alone, within a total of 430 aircraft produced. The Aronka C3 proved that aviation could be simple, 
practical, and personal. Its legacy inspired generations of home builders and aviation hobbyists to chase the sky with minimal tools. And just like that, the passion for flight would leave the factories behind and enter garages, gardens, and rural backyards, fueling a new wave of homemade ingenuity. On July 25th, 1909, Louis Blériot forever changed aviation history by crossing the English Channel aboard the Blériot 11. That flight marked the first time a heavier-than-air machine connected two nations by air. Taking off from Calais and landing in Dover 36 minutes later, Blériot became a global icon. Newspapers declared that Britain was no longer an island in the modern sense. The Blériot 11 was a monoplane designed by Raymond Saulnier and evolved from the earlier Blériot 8. It had a wooden frame made of ash, fabric-covered surfaces, and wing warping for roll control. Powered by a three-cylinder Anzani engine paired with a two-blade Chauvier propeller, it could reach speeds around 40 knots. Its elegant simplicity combined with functional reliability stunned aviation observers of the time. During the historic flight, Blériot had no compass and drifted off course. Still, he managed to visually identify the British coast and make a safe landing, though the impact damaged the landing gear. The achievement brought overwhelming demand for his aircraft. The original machine used in the crossing is preserved at the Museum of Arts and Crafts in Paris, serving as a timeless reminder of one man's courage above the sea. But not everyone trusted this fragile monoplane at first. After fatal accidents, the French army temporarily banned its use. Blériot responded with technical reinforcements and detailed safety reports, which eventually restored faith in the design. The Blériot 11 became a symbol of the birth of modern aviation, bridging innovation and risk in a world still learning to trust the skies. At the edge of engineering and imagination, we find stories that defy the expected. These flying machines remind us that passion, not budget, builds legends. Like, comment, and subscribe if this journey opened your mind. Share it to keep these inspiring efforts soaring high. Watch the videos on screen and keep exploring these aircraft that fascinate the world of aviation. Bye-bye!